see, construct a building. Now, I don't know. It, we're getting to the point where our gold is getting pretty bad. So I'm going to get maybe a harbor going. Let's see, a harbor will give us plus two additional. No, no, it actually will give us, let's see, like plus three. So well, let's get the harbor up. Definitely a good thing to put in. And then we'll put it here because, you know, it's kind of like the harbor, the library, all this stuff is sort of part of the city. The main capital. So, um, I'm tempted. Let's order up uh, some more peasant settlers too because now that I know I have an elven world, I'm pretty eager to get moving on that. So, so what units get moved where? I'm going to start by moving. She'll move to the portal and I'll send her through. Um, and you see we're advancing on our quest. So yeah, look at that. All living world. Now, that would be terrible if I were an undead player, because it'd be like, oh great, now our second world is useless to me. But this is such a solid start. Like, this is honestly the best setup you can have, because, I mean, we're going to have enormous cities. Like, we're going to cover this place in cities. And even, like, little, like, dinky, fake, you know, the almost like the, the free cities or fake cities or whatever you call them, even those will do really well out here. So we're going to carpet this in cities. Um, and any anyone living here, like any elves, their, do, their days are numbered. <laughs> I, I, any little cities I find, I'm going to conquer mercilessly because I need the land for my, my own self. Um, let's see. Now that... Oh, a wind element nest. Uh, they're not terribly strong, but you have to have a range or a magic unit. So the wizard is going to have to take care of that. I'm actually just going to push her over here and park her. Yeah, that way she'll have a defense bonus against the wind elemental. Uh, the elementals look really cool in this game. They're, they're like little bird creatures. and um, I don't know. I, I, I like the take they, they made for them. And uh, also silver mines. Silver, strangely enough, it's treated almost like mithril. Or true silver or whatever. It, it's... it's you, you can use it to make extra gold, but you can also use it to make better armor. And silver armor, it's very, like, if you're equipped with silver armor or silver weapons, it, it's good against, like, um, undead. So that, that's kind of what silver is all about. Um, let's see. Let's go. Oh, we can build a building here. See, so you can build the foundries, which will get you masterwork armor. And honestly, elven worlds... The, the enemies tend to be, they're strong, but they're not nearly as strong as, like, a Minotaur would have been. Like, if they got desert for our first world. But I am going to build a foundry because I want that extra gold. I'm looking at my gold situation, and it's bad. Honestly, it's pretty bad. So we need to sort that out. I do want to get a farm on here eventually, just build the city up, make it larger. But, alright, let's... Oh, it, okay. He already moved this turn. I really want to just crush the, um, bears. <laughs> Alright. And we'll send our... We'll have them explore kind of opposite directions. Yeah, see, you get more... You get more bear dens, which, honestly... By this point, bears aren't as scary. Um, wind elementals are kind of... Uh, they're kind of pushovers, especially with a mage in play. Um... The thing you want to watch out for is you can get like elite werewolves and elite werewolves um if you have a, an elite werewolf attack you you're not gonna have a good time <laughs> so that's something we need to be aware of um they can be quite nasty but bears bears are survivable at this point i'm not terribly concerned oh quit giving me this this is like kind of almost so frustrating that we got three in a row pretty much. Uh, I mean, I can have extra happiness, which is okay. Um, again, going for a oh, hundred gold. That's I'm gonna have to do it, and that really hurts. That that's almost all our gold gone. Oi. I think that this might be a quest that actually builds up over time, and if you can keep doing it, eventually you'll unlock something nice. I'm not sure. I've never, like, gone all the way through it, so it could be like that. It could be something else. Again, going for a foundry, because I really need gold, and, you know, that'll give me gold. It'll give me extra armor, too. 
um, assign unit orders, so rogue. For now, basically our rogue, I'm using a, a scout, and I have to be very careful with her. Okay, so it does look like we have, you get these kind of neutral cities, uh, no one controls them. Um, but the cool thing about it is, if I conquer the city, I essentially unlock elves, and I can build elven units, it's, it's really kind of amazing. So, um, I, I'm definitely, this is a city that I'm going to conquer, um, because it's nice in a way because you get extra, just units that you normally couldn't build, so, um, let's move forward, Ro robbed rich men, oh, let's see, um, this one's interesting, I, um, I forget how it goes down, there, there's actually, like, I'm gonna postpone it for now, because, I think it's it's not going to be other options because I don't have enough gold. And we don't need to unlock it immediately, so. Let's see what we have here. Troll stones with no trolls on it. I'm going to do a little bit of a risk here. Now, like I said, I, I often kind of assume that you're going to lose your rogue, but I want to kill those troll stones before they spawn trolls because that's another nasty boss you can, or nasty enemy you can get out here. And it, it, honestly, it looks like I can get the troll stones and the wind element nest, but troll stone is the first priority. I could have moved a little bit better. Actually, yeah, I can get both. Cool. Yeah, let's wipe it, wipe them out. Very nice. And a little extra mana, and now they can't spawn any enemies. So <laughs> we just dealt with like the two worst enemies that we possibly could have dealt with. So we'll grab up the bear down as well, and just kind of like. That's the, the handy thing about rogues. Their movement on open terrain is so good that they they can kind of run ahead and kill off like a lot of these bear dens and stuff before you start getting overwhelmed by units. So I'm I'm very pleased by that. He can almost get to that bear den. Um, yeah, I think it's worth setting him up so that maybe he can grab it. Yeah, oh, there are the werewolves. Um, let, let's click on them, show you. But yeah, 23 damage. Um, they have a spirit attack, uh, they regenerate, they can run straight across, like they're considered beasts, so, like, a good unit against them is actually, beasts are, they're vulnerable to missiles, so, a ranger can do a pretty decent job against werewolves, but they're gonna be a tough unit, they're gonna be something that we want our wizard to really take care of, um, them and the trolls are pretty dangerous, but other than that, like, yeah, uh, the elves are kind of pushovers, so we're definitely going to be able to just roll into the city and take it over, um, which, which is kind of nice. Like, the fort's a little bit of a concern, but not, not an enormous one. As you wish. All right, do we want to send him through? I kind of do. I kind of want to make, like, a little fort base. Um... Oh, forgot forgot the bear was close enough. Yeah, I think I'm gonna lose him, but maybe not. I, I don't know. I mean, yeah. Let, let's see. Let's see what the wizard is able. To, <laughs> let's see what the wizard can do. Come on, get, I don't see. He's healing so much. There we go. I just need a crit. You know, it's wait. Finally Aye. happened. Let's see. So we have an elf city. Um. I think I kind of just want Sniper to boost up his attack they even more. Let's see if the wizard can hit that bear and kill it off. I think he, I think he has enough. He, or, ooh, okay. Yeah. I'll have the wizard weaken it and the warrior finish it off, I think. Yeah. See, he gets a little experience for weakening a unit, so. And that'll keep our, our peasant settlers safe. Very nice. Now I'm thinking, where where do we want to build this this peasant settler? Somewhere. Like I kind of want to scout over here a bit, and I might build them like in here. I, I definitely want to unlock silver sooner rather than later. Here would be a pretty solid one as well, but I mean this one, I'm I'm kind of open. Like if like if I build here, and it turns out there's a useful resource like an elven village over here then that would be a better choice. But if not, eh, here should be fine. 
So it'll get us that silver mine, which is always handy. I can either use it for gold or for tools. Or not tools. <laughs> I'm thinking about banish here. No, um, I can use that for um, weapons, which I don't know. Uh, I generally like... I feel like the practical thing is just go for more gold, especially if you're already hurting for gold, but the weapons can really make a difference if you get in a big war. So I'll have to figure that out. Let's see. Now with wizards, it's tricky. You kind of do want missile shielding, but this is actually pretty powerful as well. Um, endurance isn't as bad. They, they tend to have like fairly strong resistance to magic, and that's where you're going to get a lot of the elemental damage from. So, come on the fence. I, I'm going to go for just straight damage boost for now, but um, it, it's, it's tricky because um, one thing wizards are fairly vulnerable to are um, its missile attacks. So, um, now, speaking of upgrades and the like, oh, we have to. I'll show you in, in a turn or two. Oh, I'm thinking about it. Um, do we want to use... Since this is... If you look at this land, it's all living plains. Now, if we went and used a fertile land spell on living plains, it actually is... It's not a, a good situation because it'll convert this living land, which is really good, into decent fertile land, which isn't quite as good. So... We go here, hop back to Aldmero, and I'm thinking I'm going to use the fertile lands like down in here to give this farm a boost so we can build up Ice Lake even more. Or actually, maybe over here. Um, I don't want to use it near the fertile lands though, because that will compromise them. So it's always a good idea to kind of, if you have the mana, spend it on this kind of thing just, just to keep your cities growing and healthy. So, yeah. See, if I put it here, I would lose the fertile land, which is stupid. It, one fertile land is, is worth more than filling up the whole area around Ice Lake with these, uh, um, what are they called? Just plains or whatever. So I'm going to do it here. Now eventually, you do, if you worship Agrila, you get the ability to conjure these, which is amazing. It Not only does it make the fertile... Like the living plains. I'll show you the spell. Let me pull it up in our research. Uh, in our research. So if it's it's fairly far down the line, but the land's a life spell. Not only will it convert everything to living land, um, which is really handy strategically against undead, but also just to it's the best terrain for food. So why not? Um, it, it's one of the few spells that can convert. Um, there's particular terrain that essentially you can't terraform unless you have like a, a powerful god spell. So it, it's it's quite handy kind of mid-game when you have to deal with this terrain and it'll let you convert it into something incredibly useful. So it's definitely a spell you want to aim for. Now can you move? No, he, he uses this movement. End turn. I gotta keep up with the end turn. Yeah, see, our, already, that was from the fortress. And you see how much damage that did to her. A new spell has been researched, my lord. Okay, so, you got more bears coming our way. I'm thinking I want to send the mage up this way and possibly try to take the city with him. Yeah, it's just one unit, but it's they're that strong. <laughs> so, let's see. If I move forward twice, I don't think it'll let me attack, so... Oh well, I'm just gonna scooch. I'm gonna send the rogue. Rogues are really, like, the main use of them before they turn into cutthroats is setting them ahead to blow up these little, uh, um, just these things. Because if you can get rid of them ASAP before they start just dumping units on you... Okay. Um, I don't know. It's it's tempting to do this, but I believe you get like a better a better outcome if you have more gold. So since we don't really need to unlock it now anyway, I'm gonna wait till we actually defeat this Elven City to unlock it. Um, oh, that's good. Good resource there. Magic fields. Um, so in the meantime, what, what is this? Hermit's house. Oh, that's that's what spawns werewolves. Let's see if we can kill it before we get a werewolf on top of us. So, 
Yeah, that, that'd be a good thing to eliminate. And I really like the living lands. Like, I mean, look at the forest. That little elfin towers just cropped up everywhere. And, like, the roots move. It, it's a, just an awesome place in general. And, ooh, we got gold here, too. Like, they're, they're very productive terrain in general. Um, now, yeah, we're going to keep this city... So, uh, technically, we could build, like, here, and then eventually grow into, but I, I'm thinking, I don't know what I'm thinking. <laughs> like, mm, building is, like, I might build, like, a throwaway city here, and then, like, let's see, so if we do that, one, two, three, we should build a city here to get the silver. So let's let's go ahead and position ourselves to do just that. And it'll be really nice. This city's gonna be massive. It, it might even not be my, my capital or something. <laughs> uh, we'll see how it goes. So I can move up here, destroy the bear den. Just kind of slowly but surely dealing with that. Um, and actually, he's strong enough. Attack! Like, let's go ahead and come do that. Level him up a bit now. Looking at the werewolf hut and the fact that we leveled up, I'm tempted to get turtle. Turtle is is one. It, it's kind of one of those things that you're on the fence about. Yeah, it's a huge bonus. So if you're concerned about, oh, it's missile damage though. Yeah, yeah, this is not the right map for that. Let's go with either endurance or perceptive. I'm gonna go with endurance. Staying alive is usually a higher priority than earning experience because if you stay alive you get experience but if you're dead what's the point of the experience <laughs> so okay we got some research done and we have fireball very good spell um i'm just gonna like if you click on it or oh this is the research panel so uh what do you go for next uh, honestly this might be a good one to go for um healing is another good one that's okay. Um, this one's interesting. Uh, it can, during times of war, if you expect you're going to have to kill a whole bunch of units, that will really, really, like, ramp up your experience. Like, a lot. It's an expensive spell, though. You want to use it sparingly, and you want to use it smartly. Um, another one we could kind of push for is clean the land. Uh, this is useful if you get attacked by some jerk who is making like all the all, all your terrain turn to dead land or something of that nature um, however you can kind of correct it with the the fertile lands so it, it's decent um, really what you want for is if someone destroys uh, living lands and you want to convert that back into living land so it's something that we're gonna want but I don't know if we should rush for it uh, honestly, I'm thinking blessing of fertility, because that'll get us that'll get some really good food production. Uh, we have the, we definitely have the reputation for it, and you know we're kind of role playing. We're, we're kind of saying you know um, the goddess of Grilla, who you know we we worship devoutly. Not only has she blessed us with these these wonderful lands, these these elf woods that we are going to grow prosperous and fat from. But, you know, to show our devotion to her, we're going to continue to learn her spells. So, <laughs> let's see, a traitor has come. Now, what is a traitor? Uh, traitors, um, very interesting. They offer you little artifacts to sell. Um, I am really tempted to pick this one up. This one is very good. It, it's essentially, you put it on a hero, and you get... Every time that hero attacks, it'll cause frostbite. And if you look at that, lowering resistances is just about one of the best spells you can do. Now, we don't have a hero right now, and 240 is almost all of our remaining gold. So it's a very hard call, but it's also a very good um, thing to have. Hmm. And see, the problem is, traders will come, they'll offer you this, but it's not like they stay around. You either buy it that turn or you lose it. And honestly, I, I don't want to lose this. This is a very handy, I mean, it lowers, it's, it's good for finishing off big units. I mean, this is something that will 
be useful throughout the entire game. And and minus 20 resistance is enormous, actually. Like, I, I believe that you can only ever get, like, just the debuff spells. Like, the end game debuff spells will give you the minus 20 of that. But, um, yeah, I'm, I'm going to buy it. It's it's risky. It, it definitely it hurts because now, now look how little we have. You know, we're, we're down to... 15 gold, so if we get another emergency, we can't deal with it. Um, I'm hoping that as we add some of the gold buildings, it'll help us. Rogues, yeah. Let's see, so our rogues, they've, so far they have survived. Impressive. Um, oh, hmm. With rogues, it's kind of tricky. I, I think, honestly, I'm going to go for the missile resist um, over the other stuff. Hopefully we get to the Hermit's Hut before it spawns any werewolves, because that would be... It would really hurt us if it spawns some werewolves on top of us, but... Okay, I need to get my gold situation sorted. Once this building comes in, it'll be fine. And that one too, but... Yeah, keep saying, keep saying these that to the front. I also, I need to pay attention to... Um, I forget, let's see, optimal number of cities. So we can build... If we get five more cities, we'll be good, but any more than that, we need to start converting cities into kind of jo like the jokester cities. So that's something to keep in mind. Um, I'm going to move him and destroy the bear den. Oh, we actually, <laughs> that's a little awkward. Like, yeah, we won't be able to reach that until we have flying units, which is much later. Um, but I, I don't know, it, it's kind of an experience pool in a way, like you can just sit here with a range unit and keep dinking away at the Medusa. Um, they're pretty, they're, they're not difficult units, like I'm not terribly concerned about them, but you know, it is a shame it's out of reach and we can't do anything about it, but mm, not, not, nothing we can do. Uh, the, I mean, there are spells we can get that give us like the ability to cross over flying tiles and we, there are ways to deal with it, but um, honestly, it's mid-game, so it's just gonna keep spotting little uh, his little Medusa. They're they're basically flying jellyfish that zap you for some elemental damage. They're they're not terrible. Like you can actually kill them pretty quickly, so I'm not worried about being completely overwhelmed by Medusa. So. <laughs> Someone just got mad. Yeah, see, like, minus four damage. It's not the end of the universe. Yeah, you see the werewolves. Even with all the stuff I gave him to, like, boost him up, they're nasty. So, I'm going to pull our wizard over to here and see. Can I hit them? No, I'd have to get in a more vulnerable position. I don't... Oh, I don't even have enough movement. Ah. Uh, oh, I screwed that up. Um... Yeah, shoot. I'm gonna move him forward a bit, and that's that's it's a little dangerous, but warriors. Let's see. Go over here. We got bears. I'm just kind of trying to outrun the werewolf and get to a place where I'll have the advantage in terrain and he won't, cause they're they're just jerks. <laughs> As you wish. Okay, we'll move forward here, and I think I'm gonna go ahead and build the city here. Um. I'm also thinking a city over here will be nice because uh, this is, it's magic herbs. Um, it's a decent resource. It's good for getting some mana. It, it I don't know, it, it's not spectacular, but it, it's worth grabbing if you can get it. What? Cool, let's kill the hermit hut now and not have to deal with any more werewolves coming from it. Um, was he on a hut or he was just spawned somewhere? There has to be a hut like up here. Now one thing you want to watch out for is there are some swamps uh, around, and I'm just going to center up here just to scout a little. And you don't want to get stuck in like a swamp and then get, you know, shot at by a fort or something. Um, man, th this, this city is going to be a little tough to take, I think, because of that fort. Forts are decent. Um... They're, they're just, I mean, in general, and, and honestly, I kind of, I don't want to destroy the fort because uh, if I can take the city and it, it'd be kind of nice to have the fort 
near the portal because on the other side of this portal, for all we know, is um, an enemy wizard and yeah, or mage or whatever they call them. And often you end up going to war with them because the peace options just aren't all that good. Um, like you can't trade tech and, and the AI is just like, they, they love to go to war anyway. So having like a fortress right outside of where they'd be sending units into would be handy, but we'll see. So, and yeah, see Medusas are just, they're Medusas. <laughs> I never, I never worry too much about them to be honest. Um, and we unlocked a new unit. That's because we built, uh, Caribals are just, uh, naval units. They're okay on some maps. I don't really push for them. Otherwise, I mean, yeah, yeah, I mean, now we finally have some gold coming in. It's just kind of a waiting game at this point. I'm not going to build any units, any more settlers or anything there. I'm just going to um, let Deepwood be Deepwood. <laughs> so, it's too bad that uh, this guy can't quite seem to reach the bear and shoot at it. Because that would speed up this whole way. It's just going to take a while for the archer to clear these guys out. Nice to keep our. Oh gosh. Yeah, we got slaughtered there. We lost the mage. Oh wow, that that that's a shame. I should have enchanted the mage with me with melee. I wasn't I wasn't paying attention. Um. Well, darn. If I build yes. a city here, I'm pretty sure the werewolf will just take it, which. You know, <laughs> do we really want that situation? Um, but when the ah, oh, that was bad. I oh, that was stupid actually. So now the werewolf is gonna level up. It's gonna get even worse. Settlers. Um, and I can't run away from it even because they they can walk straight through forest no problem. Um, can I can I disband the unit? I think I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Settlers aren't too difficult to make, and I don't want them getting easy level level ups off of vulnerable units. So, um, darn! I'm sad that we lost our archer, though. That that is actually a pretty big loss because we don't have the buildings to rebuild them, and they're useful in some situations. I, I'd almost rather have an army of warriors and mages than anything else, but. Why can't I make you? Oh, I don't have enough gold. Oh, God. Yeah, and he could have survived that fight if I hadn't remembered to put the spell on him. That was really, really stupid. Well, in that case, I'm going to disband both those guys to get more gold coming in. Because without a mage, we're not going to be able to really take the elf place. We don't have the manpower for it. So... Oh, wow. I'm, I'm sorry, guys. I, you see, this is what happens. You get a powerful unit, you don't pay enough attention, and you end up losing really bad. That's going to set us back a lot. Um, what will it cost you? And there's nothing really we can do about it. Um, i trying to think what to do, do with you need her. Something handsome? I'm tempted to disband her. Just, I can walk her through like this territory, scout some stuff. Um, I have a feeling, like, see, that they got the Taishar Knights, which is, like, the one really good elf unit, and they, they, they will kill her. Um, let's kind of do, like, a suicide mission, like, run her forward a bit, kind of check out what the terrain looks like, and, ooh, yeah, yeah, this is actually some heavy resistance, um, ooh, an elven village, that's, that's handy. This is, this is a good city. I want it. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually disband the rogue as well. Um, and yeah, it seems like I'm kind of cutting down my army, but honestly, at this point, we just we need more warriors. 
We need more gold so we can get mages back. Um, yeah, and, and yeah, I screwed up with losing that mage. It, I could, I, and I remember sitting there thinking, well, it's kind of dangerous having your mage walk out of the forest when you have these guys around. And yeah, it was mm, disappointing that I did that, but oh well, uh, we can adapt to it. And, and that's the thing, like you gotta roll with the punches on, on some of these things. Now we definitely, we definitely want to get a mage up and running soon, but since we can't afford one, let's get a warrior going. Um, and hopefully we'll save up enough that we can do that. The, um, Ice Light's in some trouble. I don't think they can take the city, but they're going to do some damage to it. Um, cities, they have the hit points, so like you can't just walk in and capture them, so you don't have to worry about garrison. But, yes, yeah. Yes, my lord. Yeah, that was, it was kind of unfortunate how that all went down. I'm just going to keep, hopefully we keep this warrior alive, because he is highly promoted. And currently our only army. <laughs> so, yeah. That, that was a, sh a real shame, actually, that I lost the mage. I'm not, I'm not too worried about losing some of the other stuff, but losing the mage is bad. It's real bad, actually. Um, I'm tempted to kind of, like, either get a, a ranger's guild or another warrior's guild so I can start cranking out more warriors. Um, yeah, and, and kind of upgrade this to smithy and, and maybe end up getting, I think that might be the plan. Um, first though, let's just get another foundry going, or even, let's get a farm. That will that grow faster, so, especially because it's a, a living farm, so. This city's going to be basically where all the warrior buildings are, like, we'll, we'll get a, um, uh, you know, a warrior, a smith, and, and like a, a co what do they call it? like a military college or whatever, and just really build up our, our army based out of Ice Lake. Um, just because, you know, I mean, it has the two foundry resources. It seems like just naturally, so, uh, you know, if you have foundries everywhere making weapons, wouldn't you want to have your army building up there too? I think so. Yeah. 